Hi, I'm Kate Bonner for the Watercolor Diaries on KBTV Online. Thanks for joining. Ever since the KBTV Online staff and I went to the Dolphin Research Center on Grassy Key to swim with the dolphins, my videographer Chris and I actually got kisses from the dolphins. I've just felt this special close connection to these friendly creatures. I really actually felt like they might be humans, but nice humans. So when my new Scientist magazine, which is my favorite magazine, landed in my mailbox a couple of weeks ago, and I saw an article written by Emma Young about how dolphins communicate through whistling, I was fascinated. Humans are now a bit nearer to understanding what dolphins might be saying, thanks to a project that has distinguished nearly 200 different whistles dolphins make and links some of them to specific behaviors. Liz Hawkins of the Whale Research Center at Southern Cross University in Lismore, Australia, eavesdropped on bottlenose dolphins living off the east coast of Australia for her three-year study. In the study, she reports that bottlenose dolphins communicate in a highly complex way, and I quote here, that it's contextual, so in a sense, it could be termed a language. Hawkins, who presented her work at a meeting of the Society for Marine Mammalogy in Cape Town, South Africa in December, wrote that dolphins were known to use quote-unquote signature whistles to identify themselves to others, but the meaning of the other whistles they make was a mystery. And I quote directly from Emma Young's article here, Hawkins recorded a total of 1,647 whistles from 51 different pods of dolphins living in Byron Bay, New South Wales. From the starting frequency of the sound, its duration, and its end frequency, she identified 186 different whistle types. Of these, 20 were especially common. After putting the whistles into five groups, Hawkins determined that they clearly went with different behaviors. When a pod was traveling, for instance, 57% of the whistles were sign whistles, rising and falling symmetrically. But when the dolphins were feeding or resting, they made far fewer whistles of this type. And while socializing, they communicated almost exclusively using flat-toned or rising-toned whistles. The dolphins often made a particular flat-toned whistle when they rode the waves created by Hawkins' boat. And it's tempting to speculate that the whistle is the equivalent of a child going, Wee! And in a group of dolphins living off Moreton Island in Queensland, Hawkins identified a whistle often admitted by an animal when it is on its own. Hawkins says that that whistle could definitely mean, I'm here, where is everyone? So as I mentioned earlier, when I was swimming with the dolphins on Grassy Key, I really felt like I was communicating with them. Well, as it turns out, I might have been right. <laughs> Thanks for joining today. I'm Kate Bonner for the Watercolor Diaries on KBTV Online. <laughs>